countdown is on to the 2010 Winter Games and we are ready for it. So I recently sat down with Van Ock CEO John Furlong to get his vision of the Games and get a sense of what we can expect. He's one of the very few leaders who will make it from bid phase all the way through to the Games and that's because he truly believes in the power of sport. John, what made you want to be a part of the Games back before the bid phase? Well, I think to a degree, you know, I was kind of in the right place at the wrong time or the wrong place at the right time, but I had just finished a term as the chairman of Sport BC, and this idea came up. And I've honestly felt that it was my responsibility to help because it was a major sport idea and a major initiative, and my goal was to sort of help it along. I never anticipated being in charge. I never anticipated being the leader. I just wanted it to be successful because I thought that the, the Olympic Games could bring with it an extraordinary um, you know, outcome for the city and the region. I had no vision that I would be leading it, just giving it a hand. Remember the moment back in 2003 where it was announced that Vancouver won the bid to host the 2010 Games. What, uh, what stands out in your mind from that, that moment? It was the feeling of an extraordinary relief that we had worked so hard for so long. Um, I had traveled you know, well past a million miles in the previous 15 months. We were exhausted. And it was the relief and the knowledge that when you pour everything you have into something that normally the laws of natural justice prevail and you are successful and that's what happened. And I was standing there almost without words for the feeling of oh my goodness, it's actually happened. And my, my immediate instinct was to feel this sense of, oh, we're there. And then there. the work began. And then the work began, <laughs> yeah. Every one of us has our favorite Olympic moment or Paralympic moment in sport that we think, oh, the inspiration factor. For me, it was watching Clara Hughes and Cindy Clausen back in Torino 2006 on the podium together singing O Canada. What's that inspiration moment for you? I have many, and they and one tends to replace the other. And uh, but I, when I think back over the experiences I've had with this, particularly um, as opposed to in my own childhood, a moment that stands out as an extraordinary one for me is that the final two minutes of the gold medal hockey game in Salt Lake, standing behind the goal, knowing that Canada was about to win, and watching the reaction of people to what was going on, this feeling that they were involved in something great, that, they, that their country was making history, that people pulling out their cell phones and calling their husbands and their wives and, and marveling at how good it felt to be Canadian in Salt Lake that day, to be amongst the few who witnessed it uh, themselves and then having the crowd break out into O Canada and then the Americans joining in with us and this feeling of the power of sport. It was just the most awesome thing you could imagine I and mean, it was very special. What's been your motivation and what drives you? Well, I believe in what we're doing and I believe in it and I believe in the power of it and in spite of the fact that there's always detractors and people who think we should be doing something else, I've always looked at it and thought this is going to be a good thing for people and it's inspired me. And I've tried to let the values of the, of the games and the values that we've adopted to guide my own behavior and, and I feel that in fact, in and of itself, that's how it's worked for me. And um, I've never really stopped for a second to look up and worry about whether I'd be here tomorrow or not. It's, um, it's worked out well. I'm very happy to be here. And, and people who have done this over the years have found out this is a very difficult job. It's very challenging and for, for anybody. And all I ever wanted to do was to do the best I could and the rest would be whatever it would be. One of your platforms with Vancouver 2010 is making this Canada's Games and sharing the experience with the provinces and all the territories and the four host First Nations. Why did you make that a precedence for these Games? Because we could. Um, I mean, most Olympic Games, when you think back, have been very much about a city or a region or a piece of a region. And I thought that the Games could touch everybody and that they have that kind of power and they have turned out to be, uh, t it has turned out to be true that they have that kind of reach because all you have to do is look at the torch relay and see the impact it has on people. It's affected everybody and I think it's very easy uh, to, to think of something like this and, 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 and decide that it can be about the few. But why not about the many? Why not about everybody? And if it is the greatest brand, and if it is, if it is the biggest event on earth, and if it is a, a moment in time for a country, why not everybody? And I'm very proud of that vision. I'm very proud of the fact that as much as it's been more difficult, it's absolutely been the best uh, decision we've ever made is to share. 
what sports did you play growing up and how has it shaped you for this role today? Well, I played um, basketball and European handball at the international level. I played Gaelic football in Ireland, which was sort of like the national, it's the hockey in Ireland. And then in Canada, I, I competed in squash uh, for Canada. And what sport did for me was uh, really, uh, it te I think it teaches you the rules of life about how things work. In sport, you know, there are rules. There is a way uh, forward. Uh, if you make a mistake, you get punished. If you cheat, you get caught. Um, and so you have these rules, and they're very straightforward. And I think in sport, um, you have the answers for so many things. It's a metaphor for life. And so I can't think of anything that is more helpful in trying to lead an organization than the lessons of the playing field, of, you know, of uh, learning how to win and how to lose, and, you know, uh, and all of those things that you learn at such an early age. Age. Um, and I, I think that uh, in and of itself is about the best gift a young person can have in life is to be given that introduction to sport and the power of sport and it certainly has been the guiding force in my career. What do you most look forward to? I mean, I think for me, I, I will be very grateful uh, when the games have come and gone and to know and feel that it has been a great and wonderful experience for all the people who are part of this, that they will be able to look back and feel that this was one of the great things that they've done, that they will be able to look back on the games and feel that their contribution was the piece that made it all work. And if everyone who works on this, every volunteer, every employee, every person who's, had, who's touched this can feel that way, then we will have done what we set out to do. That we really kind of felt the power of what it is to call yourself a Canadian. If you were to pick a theme song for this journey to 2010, what would it be? It's a hard day's night. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much.